Escape does not pause the game, but the pause key does, did you know that? Hello and welcome. We are back at the abandoned base and it's time to loot that thing. Let's do that. Let me unpause the game and get back to first person view with the V key. First thing we want to do is grab the contents of all the containers and we do that via the logistics network. So hit F4. Now we want to get everything in these ammo boxes, cargo boxes, closets and what have you, right? We can loot it directly into our ship. Put this one to the scout and container controller. And, uh, oh, don't have enough space. Doesn't matter. Where's the multi-tool? We grab one of the cargo boxes that we have here. And use that. Doesn't matter which one, they're all the same. Want to put this in a convenient place, maybe close to the scout. But I want to take a big one. By default you get this one which has only 8000 SU, but these, any of these will have 16k. Turn that around, maybe place that here, yes, so we can loot everything into this one. That is called Cargo Box 3-1, okay. I want to rename this, so I can better distinguish it. Hit P for the control panel. There it is. You can only rename the devices if they are in a group. So I just hit the auto group thing. And then let's see where we find it. Here it is. And let's say we call this loot box. Yep. Hit F4 again. Now we can choose the loot box. If we find it, here it is. Yeah, and then we start putting stuff over. So we're done looting all the containers. Next thing I want to do is grab the fuel in O2. We access the control panel, go to the main tab and then go to the manage of the oxygen. 4380, this is the total contents of all the O2 tanks. Put in 4380 and see what we get. 17 bottles with 250 each. We have a little bit remaining, 130. You only get full bottles. There's no empty or half full bottles in this game. So anything that is less than 250 will remain in the tank. That's just how it is. And from here we can switch to the fuel. Do the same here. I just type in 999999 to get the maximum amount. 51 fuel packs. Yeah, why not? That's fine. Okay, next thing we want to do is loot all the containers and devices and stuff, right? Select the loot box here and then connect to it. We are connected to the loot box now and you see we get a second toolbar, right? This is our personal toolbar. All the stuff in here is actually inside our inventory. And this is the connected toolbar. Whatever is here is actually inside this container. Okay, a thing is that whatever we loot now... Oh, you can switch with the T key. Whatever we loot now goes directly into this container. So now we can go around and start looting the stuff. So the loot box is full and we're not even halfway through. Let's put some of the things into the factory. For example, the computers, mechanical components, a few glass plates, stuff like that. And put it into the factory and the good thing is, which the toolbar, if you put components and devices into the factory, this will also lower the production time. And this can then all go into the portable constructor. The portable constructor has no limit on its inventory. At least I have never encountered a limit. Oh, well, let's see. Oh, it has to be closer to the base. Let's grab it and put it here. That should be okay. Yep, see the sign stops flashing, so we are close enough here. Where is it? Eight. Yeah, now we can access it and put all the stuff into here. This way we can collect all the loot into one place. And later on, if we have a bigger ship with more inventory space, we can go here and grab all the stuff in one go. Okay, I will continue looting and catch you when we're done.
Oh man, can you believe that? Look at that. I mean, do you remember this room? That was the last room that we visited when we done the POI. There were there were showers here and two toilets and abomination standing here, right? And look what we have here. Heavy sniper rifle, the salt shotgun, and some yummy yummy. Let's eat that. Unbelievable. I did not notice that. Okay, be it as it is. I think we're almost through. Let's see. Yeah, apart from the loot box and I don't bother with all these NPC spawners, we have no use for them. Now we only have the core and the CPU extenders. Now let's say the CPU extenders are hidden behind a wall, below the floor, whatever, and you can find them. What you can do is select them here in the device list and click the show on HUD. And this way you can find them easily. So, I mean, we already know where these things are, right? Let's go and grab them. Here they are. Okay, maybe one final tip that might be a little bit controversial, but in single player you can use the God mode. That will not only make you invulnerable, but also disable collision detection and gravity. So open the console with the tilde key, type in GM, which stands for God mode. And now you can go, don't need the jetpack anymore, can go through walls and fly. And this is a nice way to inspect the base. I like that. I rarely use it. I mean, what's the point in playing a survival game <laughs> than using God mode, right? But for things like this, I want to inspect and take a look at the architecture. I think that's that's a good thing. You can use the shift key to sprint, the control key to sprint faster, and the combination with shift and control to sprint super fast. And of course, you can also go up into space because you're not using oxygen and energy anymore, right? Okay, let me disable this. You can type in help and get the list of all the commands. And if you want to get more information on a command, for example, the gob mode, type help gm, and it gives you information about this command. Look at what we have. This is so much stuff and there are quite a few really big things in here. Look at this 7.2 kilo SU. We are not even able to carry this over with our ship. Fuel tanks. A lot of big stuff in here. Oh, how big is this here? 40 SU. Want to have this. I like these, these decoration things, the tribal furnishing. Because you cannot craft it yourself. Oh, also, before I forget, where is it? F2, the factory. Look at that. We got all we need for the Merc and we brought the production time down to one second. Nice. <laughs> Okay, it's time to go back home. Let me disconnect from this. And then grab the loot box. We bring it with us. And maybe a few tips for controlling the ship. You can use the Z or Z key to turn it on or off. And of course you can do it with, with it the control panel, right? Hit space to lift off. Then I hit the O key to align it to the horizon. Then I hit the V key to go to third person view. Then use the arrow keys to align it properly, like so. Maybe go up a little bit, so we get over the mountains. Yeah, and then I hit I to disable the inertia dampeners. This will only keep the ship floating, but will not stop the ship. A little bit more, maybe. I hit the Alt key to free the camera. Then use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out and the page up and down keys change the position and then we go towards the base hit w to accelerate when at full speed you can hit control to enable the cruise control and then we hit f6 several times to turn off the hut elements and then we can have a time lapse let's bring in the merc shall we start production here we go. Let's see if it fits. Can we turn this? Not really. If it fits on this landing pad, it looks like it does, yes. Yes, nice. 
<laughs> quite a bit bigger than the than the skull, right? Oh, you see this? You feel reinvigorated by a soothing sensation. That is when you have a butterfly nearby. Where is it? And that is also a heal over time. A bit stronger than the the other one that you get from eating. Okay, we have a little bit of a problem here in our base. Because we're running out of space. 13k of 16k. And we still have a lot of stuff over at the abandoned base. So what I want to do today is expand the cargo capacity using container controllers and container extensions. Let me craft a few while we're talking. Where do we find this here? Container controller, we need one of them. I plan to have 12 extensions, but we only got, I believe, three. Yeah, we looted three from the abandoned base. Shift to get 10 in and then remove one. Connect to this. Switch to the other toolbar, go to retrieve. Switch toolbar with the T key. And then we place these things. Very good. Now we need the container controller. We place it here, let's see. Yeah, this looks like the console that you would access. And we have 104k. Yeah, that is good. Okay, keep at it. Switch to the cargo box, move this all over. Very good. And then we connect to this one here. Grab this, and I want to move the constructor over. Before we do that, let's quickly texture this. The drawback with this is that you are very limited in terms of textures. But we grab these ones, that those are the ones that we had before, right? Yep. Oh, you rotate things with the home and end key, by the way. Yes, there we are. Let's color this. I think we had this color. Yeah, that looks good. These are the tribal furnishings. Looking quite nice, I think. Oh, and I also want to craft an armor locker. There it is. Let's go. Give me that thing. I think I want to place this here. I think it shall be red. Okay, now where do we have? Oh, we have a little bit of armor. Medium and heavy armor and then a boost. Put this all over. I keep the light armor. Now the medium and heavy armor, they not only give you more protection, but they also give you more oxygen and more inventory space. But they also slow you down. That's why I usually stick to the light armor. Let's grab a drill and some drill charges. Next thing I want to do is a little bit of underwater exploration and the reason for this is that you want to craft medicine, right? And for some of these you need alien plasma. Alien plasma ZR1, alien plasma T6. Yes, and you can find this underwater. Let's see what else can you find. I've written it down. Pentaxid, promethium, silicon, plant protein. And sometimes even gold. I found a little gold boulder underwater last time I did it some of these and maybe a few of these the emergency bottles can be crafted in the survival constructor all you need is a little bit of purified water and these bottles you get them from the o2 h2 generator that we placed somewhere here where is it here yeah this produces small o2 bottles and the purified water i've been in this area already and looted also we maybe we're going somewhere here over to this place Let's see what we can find. Oh, another thing. If you have a weapon equipped or a tool, you will sink to the ground and be walking. Let's take a look at the third person view like this. But if you unequip the weapon using the zero slot, which is your hand slot, then you can swim and you can also swim up. Return to the first person view. So this is nothing. 
have silicon down here. We have the light on. This is plant protein. You find tons of plant protein. Oh, there is one. This is alien plasma T6. Silicon and plant protein en masse here. A little fish. I see a red bar. What's this? This is pentaxid. You can pick it up with your hand. But the promethium is the one that you need a drill for. You can also use your survival tool, of course, but it has a lot of hit points and it takes ages. Oh, this is Promethium here. Right? Let's see, do we have the survival tool? Yes. Just to show you, we use the survival tool in resource mode. You'll see, 1000 hit points. Take 8 points with one shot, right? This takes a while. Let's see, if we use the drill instead. Final flattening filler resource drill. Uh, 40 points at a time, right? Yes, nice. And unequip the weapon so we can swim. And there's more. More Promethium. What is this red stuff? We still need to find the other plasma, right? I believe it's more in the deeper areas. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Alien Plasma ZR1. Yes. And more Pentaxid. Need Pentaxid for shields and the warp drive. More Alien Plasma. Okay, I think that shall be enough. Let's go back to the base. The waypoint. Yes. Let's see what we got. Five alien plasma ZR1, two T6. Yeah. Put this stuff into this fridge. Alien plasma. And maybe the plant protein and the rest goes into here. And let's refill the suit. What does it have? 75 oxygen. Should fit one more into here. Maybe a little one that has 35. Yes. It's a bit of a waste, but so be it. The rest goes into the scout. And get me something to eat. Maybe a dino stew. Yes. Feel very comfortable and satisfied. That's the small deal over time you get. Okay, the final thing I want to do today is to build a greenhouse. And I've calculated the blocks that we will need. I want to build this out of wood, the foundation out of wood, and the rest out of glass. So let's see, what have I written down? 49 wood blocks. Hold shift to put in 10, 40, 50, and then remove one. Then we need 113 windows, holy moly. Control for 100, shift for 10, and 1, 2, 3. Then we need 36 grow plots. Which one do we take? I think concrete. 36 of these. Yeah, you always need a patch of 3x3 three three for one grow light. We want to have four patches. But for now we will do one, that will do. So nine. Don't think we get nine, but ten minus one. Yeah. And then we need four grow lights, but we only build one. And then we need two doors. Of course, we need doors. Do we have doors? Did we loot doors? We have one door here. One more door, please. We had a few sprouts, I believe. We already looted a few. Where did we put them? Oh, let me turn this thing around somehow. You can rotate blocks. Rotate one by one blocks, yes. So this one... Yeah, I think I want to have it like this. Yeah, that's better. So I was looking for sprouts, wasn't I? Yes, we have pumpkin, wheat, aloe vera and tomato. And I would like to have at least mushrooms. We can craft the sprouts ourselves and the buttons have disappeared again. Here. 
And what do we need? One nutrient solution, five purified water and two mushrooms. And we will get two sprouts out of this. Because we have no mushrooms in the area here, we need mushrooms for pizza. One nutrient solution. Okay, let me grab one of the nutrient solutions that we have six. I'm gonna borrow one, put it into here. One mushroom sprout being done. Yes. So we got all the components we need here. I was bored, so I took the liberty and built this little pathway in the same way that we built the other pathways. Okay, let's start. So I want to have one, two, three. What I'm thinking is have a little path here in the middle. And this is where the grow plots will be. Oh, let me... Do I have my survival tool? I want to remove the greens beforehand. I can do this with the resource mode. Okay, let's continue. So, 3x3 three three patch here. And another 3x3 three three patch here. Yeah, something like this. I'm not building the corners yet because I want to have them rounded again. This looks as if they were floating. Let's check, hit the N key for the debug menu. Only this shows structural integrity. Oh, it looks like we're good, okay don't need this. Now let's see, I want to have these round things, this one, and then get the bottom part pointing either north or south. So we change the axis with the insert and delete keys, and you see this with the grid pattern. This is the bottom where you usually place the box. I try to have them face in the same direction so that the texturing works. So I want to have this here pointing to the north, and then let's see which axis do we need. This one. This one here. Hit home and end to rotate it. And you can hit the page up, page down keys to place it on block higher or lower. Yeah. Have this one pointing southwards now. This one go here. Now I'm gonna place the doors first. Again, they don't need to be airtight and we're not worried about uh, hit points. Yeah, let's take this one. Turn it around here. And now for the windows. I want to use the 2x1 things for the wall. Oh, you cannot draw a line of these, you have to place them one by one. Yeah, like so. And here I want to have rounded. Where do we have them? Here. And then same as before, I want to have them facing north or south. Or like so, but these, yeah, I can draw them like this. Then we need the small ones, vertical one by one. And this one goes here. Now for the corners, I believe it's these. I think that will do. One here. One goes here. Yes. And then we need these. Hmm, a bit tricky to place them. Go here. What accent is that where people say you go here? Is that Australian? Okay. Then we'll use the small ones again. One row here. One row here. One row here. One row here. 
Now we are above the center of the patches, right? Yes. This is where we need the final blocks. Where we can place the grow lights on. And I think I want to have this a nice one somewhere here. Maybe this one. Something like this. Yeah, right above those patches in a distance of two blocks. Then we can fill in the remaining windows. We need nine, yes. Or if you hold down control, you can fill an area like so. Yes, all windows, all wood blocks. Okay. Now we have the grow plots. We got five. Four, five. And we have one grow light, which we put down here. Yes. You can see the temperature going up when we stand below the light. Yes, very good. Let's grab the sprouts that we have. Connect to this. Wheat, tomato, pumpkin, mushroom, and aloe vera. That is two, three, four, five, six. We only have five, but oh, that's fine. That's fine. Maybe we'll do one of each. So which is the big one? That's a big one, that's a big one. I want to place the big ones more to the back. Mushrooms are small, but they are getting large, they are getting bigger. Put this one here, put the mushroom there, and the aloe vera there. Nice! Okay, let's do the texturing and then we're done. Let's see what we have for the wood. Maybe a nice pattern like this. Or like this is the standard pattern. What is this? <laughs> and this? Oh. That could work. We move this around. I think I like this. Let's go with this. Nice. Now what can we do with these things? Maybe this? Hmm. No. Pump, pump. Yeah, that one could work. Let's take this one. Oops, of course I fell into the ground. Into the hole. Text start from above as well, yes it did. Now the floor. And not the whole thing. Oh. Oh, that's too noble. I think that would fit. Yep, so far so good. And I think I want to have a dark green for this on all sides. We bring out the drone for this. Also the door, why not? Yes. Yeah, not so bad, right? Hehehe. 
Nice. One final thing. Let's take a look at the next ship that we're going to build. And that will be the Spathe. Spathe Mark II. A capital vessel. So that will allow us to leave the system. With a small vessel you can only jump within the system. Want to leave the system and explore the universe, then you need a capital vessel. This will surely take a while. We do still have a little bit left over from the last ship, that's good. Then we can pump in more stuff that we have at the abandoned base. On our 40. Okay, nice. We have a snack, Dino Stew Royal. I think we've earned this. And what is this thing? Sweet mushroom. Sweet and slimy. Why not? <laughs> okay, well that's it for today. Oh, we uh, have a shower. Yeah. Yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you got some value out of this, a few tricks. Okay, I'll see you then. I wish you a nice day. Goodbye. Right here. That is a nice place to die. How was that? Destroy me? <coughs> Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.